Sustainable aviation fuel could have a significant impact on our ambitions around uh, carbon emission reduction. And the International Air Transport Association talks about sustainable aviation fuel probably contributing around 65% or so of the solution to achieve the net zero goals set out for 2050. It's that important. But it's nascent, it's expensive, it's going to take time to produce the production facilities, the raw materials. If we allow this to continue, and if we operate in silos, we won't achieve what we need to achieve, which is to accelerate and to achieve those goals for net zero ambitions. So what we need is collaboration. We need the agricultural waste producers to think about alternative sources of raw material. We need the jet fuel producers to be aligned with that and think about repurposing and building the production capability um, and processes. We need the transportation sector to think about uh, how do we transport, what are the logistics that are required around that, complying with uh, regulation and so on. We also need airlines to lean into that. We also need um, policy makers to ensure that all parties can play their part and that they're incentivized to do so in the right way. We need the funding mechanisms to do it. We need the consumer activity. We need actually associations, trade associations to play their part. The ecosystem goes on. So we need true collaboration in order to build the sustainable aviation fuel that we need to help achieve that net zero goal.